Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own elevator inside Roblox Studio. So in the last video, I did um, a tutorial on how to make tween indoors, so as an animation. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do something similar, but as an elevator, so it goes up and down. Uh, so yeah, first thing is we need a part, which will be the actual elevator. Uh, make sure your studs are on one. If you already have an elevator, then you can just skip this part out if you want. So what I'm going to be doing is having um, a height for each floor. So I'm going to leave a gap for a door and make it about uh, this big. And then we can just fill in the sides like this. And then we can add in the main uh, full floor part. So if we just name these two walls, and then add in the main floor bit, make sure it fills the entire elevator. And then we can name this to uh, lift floor, or you can name it to anything like elevator floor, or anything like that. So this will be the main part you stand on, what goes up and down. So let's make a height for each floor, so I want it to go up to here. So what we need to do is add in a button. So this button will be the up button. And put it about here. Now we can make sure it's anchored. We can also make it red. And also the last thing I'm going to be doing is making it neon. I'm just going to select all these walls and floor and make sure it's uh, smooth plastic. I'm also just going to remove shadows for a minute. So the idea is when the place stands in here and clicks the button, then we go up to about here. Then there should be another button if you want to go up or down this time. We click up, they go up. Again, if you click down, then you go down and stuff like that. So what I need to do is rename this to uh, up button one and then inside of it add in a click detector and then inside the button again we can add in a script so if we remove print hello world we can do local lift floor equals two and then before we actually carry on we need to just group all this so make sure it's anchored group and then we can name this to elevator Oops, without the hashtag. So if we go back inside the script, we can do lift floor equals to script dot parent dot parent dot lift floor. Then we can do local tween service equals to game get service and then tween service. Go down. Then we can do local tween style so this will be the animation and then equals to tween info dot new and then brackets we can do 0 0.5 comma enum dot using style which will be the animation and then let's test it out with a uh, linear and comma enum dot using direction this time and then we can do dot out, comma, zero, comma, false. That's one, comma, zero, like that. And then what we need to do is do local lift position up equals to pointy bracket C frame equals to C frame dot new. And then we can do more brackets, just normal ones. And then we can actually get the position. So let's drag it up to uh, about here. This will be the first position, so we can get that. Go back inside the script, paste it. And then we can do local tween floor up equals to tween service. Then create lift floor 
So make sure these are between brackets. So lift floor, comma, tweening style, comma, lift position uh, up. And then last thing we need to do is script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click connect function and then just go down a new end should appear and then all we need to do is tween floor up and then colon play brackets like that if we close it off test it out so play So once we're in, we click it, and then you can see we lift up. We can't go down though because we have no down button. So what I'm going to be doing is copying this um, actual main elevator. So we just duplicate it, lift it up. But before we ungroup it, we just need to remove some of these. So that's going to up button two. And then we can also duplicate that and call it down button one, down button one and then we can also change the color of it to maybe green and then the last thing is we're going to, we're going to be doing um actually let's just ungroup this first so inside of it ungroup and then if we just duplicate it remove um, one of these floors because we don't need four floors there we go remove these buttons And then all we need to do now is down button three. And that can also be green. And then we can also just remove the floor. So now that we have a three floor elevator, we can just ungroup that again. So now that we have this, what we need to do is get the positions of the um, other floors. So if we just get uh, this new one, copy that. And then inside this up button two, we can just change the position like that. So let's test out so far. Okay, so if we click it, we go up, we click the up one, we go up to the next one. But now all we need to do is um, change some of the positions again. So we click stop. It goes up to this one, but we need this uh, down one to go back down to this one. So position, copy that, go inside this down button one, change it, uh, change this position to this one, close off it. So all we need, all we're really doing is just changing the positions of all the um, floors. Once again, in this button three, go down to the bottom floor. And then we might be done, so let's test it out. Okay, so once we're in, we click it, we go up, go back down. So sometimes when you go down, then uh, you can fall down a bit, so it might look a bit weird. But if you want, then you can add like a roof onto your lift. So you go up, the down works again, click up, we go up again. Then we can go back down to the bottom floor. If you want, you can make the, uh, the down button go down to this floor instead. So once again, you can see it works. There you go. And then if you want, you can also have some different floors. So I'm just going to quickly decorate a bit so you can see what it looks like if we actually add some floors. And then you can see all the floors are here. So I pretend we have like walls and stuff. So we walk into the lift or elevator. You click the button, you go up, you see the next floor. You can go back in, go up, you go to the next floor. Then you can go back down to the bottom, go up, go down. So you can see this works really good. Like that. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, make sure to check out my Roblox and Discord group, also in the description. 
also over on my Discord server, I'm doing a fan art competition if you want to go enter that. And I'll see you later. Bye!